When coding a CAN cycle, the first code on the line is typically a G99 or a G98. It's critical that the difference between these two commands is clearly understood. If neither is programmed, the machine will use G98 by default because it is the safest. To understand how these two codes work, it is important to know that these codes are modal, and once the machine is in the G98 mode, it will stay in that mode until it is switched to the G99 mode, and vice versa. The G98 or G99 does not take effect until the tool has finished the machining operation for the whole of the line where it has been programmed, which means it affects the Z height at which the tool moves from this hole to the next hole. The G98 will tell the machine to move from one hole location to the next at the Z level programmed previous to the start of the CAN cycle, in this case Z1 inch. G99 tells the machine to move the tool from one hole to the next at the R level programmed in the CAN cycle line, in this case 100 thou above the Z0. In the code shown here, the G98 is used to ensure the tool retracts above the strap clamp before rapiding to the next hole location. Then the G99 is programmed again so the tool will move to the next hole location at the R level and not waste time moving above a clamp when none are in the tool's path. Each time the tool must avoid a clamp, the G98 is employed, and then the G99 is programmed when no clamps are in its path. In the next video, the G82 cycle will be explained.